Welcome back to our channel. Ayo and Opi. Okwemi and Ayo. And Bami. together we are called Ayo. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, guys. Yep, yep. We are so glad mm -hmm. and we are excited to be here to see you once again. Okay. We hope this video meets you well. Yep, yep. As you yep. can see, we're looking well. We're mm -hmm. looking okay. Mm -hmm. And now I'm still looking rough. Untransformed. But don't worry. <laughs> Untransformed. <laughs> but don't worry. We are working on it. Yes, yes. We have some things in the pipeline, okay? And very soon, my makeover is coming. Yes, so. And you know, and in the, the mighty name of Jesus. Happen. Okay, so but it just manage us for now, okay? So um, yeah, what are we doing today? Let us just dive straight into it. Yes, yes. Um, so that we can just really bash this one out because this one is a very serious one. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about something really serious, mm -hmm. and we promise that we're going to roll it out. Okay. So what are we talking about today? We are going to answer the question: How do I know that he's serious about me? Mm. So how do you know when a guy is serious about you? Mm. Um, I'm sure it's a thought that most women have had. Absolutely. Um, just, you know, that niggling feeling like, mm, he does this, he does that. Mm. How do I know if he's actually serious? How do you know? How or do you know? He doesn't do this and he doesn't do that. But mm -hmm. is he serious? Is he serious? And I think it's a very important question mm -hmm. to ask at every point in time, especially when we want to step into a new relationship and we understand that there are guys and there are guys. Mm. Okay, so there's the serious ones, there's the unserious ones, mm. there's the ones that just want to use you, there's the ones that just want to waste your time. Mm -hmm. Literally, they just like want to... Like that's their work. Yeah. That's, that's on their CV. Their time... Time waster. Time wasters. You know, I saw one meme the other day about somebody that says, I would move into your house, I'll do everything with you, but I'll make sure that I don't want to marry you, but I'll also make sure that you you also don't get married. Imagine. So literally that one is ready to waste 10 years of someone's Imagine. life. Okay. So you don't want to be with someone like this. Okay, so we're gonna give you some principles, right? Um that we have used, or maybe that Okbayami used, uh, and what we have learned over the years mm -hmm. to help you on this journey to mm -hmm. be able to identify and know that. This one is not serious. So mm. when you identify that person that's not serious, you can then cut them off. Simple. You can know how you do moonwalk. Simple. Just moonwalk, slide back, say, you go your way, I go my go. way. Go. Get out of here. Get right. out of here, man. Simple. Okay, let us dive into it. Yeah, yeah. I think the first thing that made me know that you were serious about me mm -hmm. is that you pursued me. Mm. You were on it. On it. You were on my case. Okay, so so what does pursue mean? What does it mean to like, pursue Like, you someone? chased me. Like, all the, all the things that I noted in the Bible, all the things that I noted with other relationships were the men chased the women. Mm. And I noticed that you were chasing me. You wanted me. You made it known mm -hmm. that you want me and you want to be with me. That I wanted you. Yes. Okay, chasing. So I was pursuing. And I like what you said about, you know, the principles mm. of the scripture, right? Mm -hmm. You don't, when a guy likes you and when a guy is serious about you, you don't have to beg him to That's call you. It. Please understand this. You don't have to be saying, oh, please. Yeah, you don't really call me. Mm. Um, the guy will not call you for one week and he tells you, ah, uh, it's, it's, I've been busy with work. Mm. When a guy is serious about you, he makes time. Like, we're talking about this, uh, these are the beginning, early stages of, of a dating mm. relationship. So he's on you, mm -hmm. he's calling you. He's texting you. He's pursuing you. He's mm -hmm. letting you know these are my intentions. That's it. Okay. He wants to be friends with you. Mm. He wants to build a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. So he is on, on your it. case. Yes. He's on it. Okay. Yes. So you know an unserious guy when mm. he is very passive. Mm. The unserious guy does not want to be clear about anything. The unserious mm. guy is just. Oh, okay, uh, just yeah, go. yeah. He's just. I don't know. What do you want to do? The unserious. Thank you. The unserious guy says something like. Let's just go with the flow. Flow. Ah. Ah. Go Let, with the flow. Let's just see how it goes. Ah. You know, your serious guy does not really want to tell you, man, I really like you and mm -hmm. I want to develop something serious mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Your serious guy says something like, well, um, I find you interesting. Yeah. Let's just uh, see how it goes. Yeah. Let's just see how it goes. I don't want to rush. And we're not saying that he should be rushing. Mm -hmm. However, he's leading in those conversations. 
Okay, so I was leading in those conversations, yeah, you isn't were. it? Yeah, you were. You were like, please, girl, please. No, I'm joking. <laughs> No, you were. You actually were very intentional. Like literally, I've, I've probably the first person to message you in the morning and last person to message you at night, isn't it? You actually were. I remember that time we were on BB. Pinging, pinging. Ping. Just say, ping, ping, ping. <laughs> and obviously when I send the message, anyways, we discuss that <laughs> one. We discuss that one. Okay, so he pursues you, okay? Yeah. Good. Now the second thing that we can point out to you if you want to know when a guy is serious about you is that he talks about a future mm. with you. Mm. This is expo. This is very important. Mm -hmm. Now, let's just, first things first. When I say he talks about a future with you, I'm not saying that from day one, you know, from the first week he met you, he's going to be telling you about how he wants to marry you. And that, you know, that actually gets some girls excited. Mm. Like, he starts saying, my yawo, my wife. No, mm. I'm not your wife yeah. yet. Like, it's, there's a way that you do it. Thank you. And I think it is with wisdom. Okay, there's two things we need to note. The first thing, so he's talking about a future with you. Mm. He's making future plans with you involved. Mm. A prime example for us was, say, I was going to a wedding right mm. a friend's wedding mm. that was three four months down the line and i was telling okoyemi ah there's a wedding i want you to come with me mm. now obviously at that stage this is us in the beginning of our relationship and me talking about something that is happening in six months time mm -hmm. already shows that you are still in the picture mm. it already shows that okay for me to want to take you out you know obviously i am serious about you i am serious mm. with you and i'm making plans for a future yeah Okay, so, so yeah. that is an example of planning the future, yes, isn't it? And, definitely. And carrying the person along. Definitely. And I think it, it gives, for me as well, it, it made me think seriousness and security as well. Mm. That, ah, this guy, he's not messing about. If he really considers, you know, me inclusive in his plans of six months to one year, mm -hmm. then... He's a good catch. He's a good catch. Okay, and that's what we said before. What we said before was that we should not now think, ah, oh, this guy is not talking about marriage. Now... After being with a guy for a certain amount of time, a few months, a year, mm -hmm. a year and a half maybe, now if he's serious again about taking it to the next level, he will find a way to hint you. Now, guys, one of the guys, one of men's greatest fear is rejection. Mm -hmm. So there are some guys that want you and are serious about you. However, they fear being rejected. Mm -hmm. So they don't tell you about a future immediately directly, yeah and they don't tell you directly yeah however they have subtle hints mm. so before i proposed to Okoyemi, for example i had studied her i had observed certain things because i had said things in a funny way like ah you know ah in the future or when my wife this is where i'm going to be living these are how things are going to be you know just saying it a bit mm -hmm. generically mm -hmm. but i was watching or seeing her reaction, reaction. to it so that you reaction, you have to be sharp. <laughs> and I hope some guys are getting some expo. Oh my god! So this is how guys kind of find out whether this girl is on it, mm. so that they can also then make the move to say, okay, mm. will you marry me? So that's how you know a guy is serious. He's he's kind of hinting, he's joking so this about is how the a guy knows a girl is serious then. Yeah. Yeah. Got That's it. how a guy knows a girl is serious as well because he watches you and mm. we share that in the next mm -hmm. in the next video. I remember one time, do you remember? And I, I think we saw it recently, um, where there was a BBM, right? And even though I was joking, but I, I said, okay, me, um, there's something serious I want to talk to you about. And I asked you over BBM, will you marry me? Ah. This was this was about three months or four oh months before God. I actually proposed, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Do you remember yes, it? Yes, yes. And you were yes, laughing like, yes. oh, stop playing with my emotions. Yes, so yes. So I was joking. But, but at the was... same time, I was serious. <laughs> I wanted to see her reaction. You wanted to see Wagwan. Okay. I wanted to see Wagwan. Mm. If her reaction was something like, ah, please, I beg, I, I don't, beg, I don't, beg. don't, don't, I'm not yeah. ready for this kind of thing. Don't mm. try this. I would have known that, okay, maybe this is not the person for yeah. me. Anyways, we share more about that. So, Got guys, it. girls, give your guy, give the guy some time. Mm. However, he will definitely involve you in future plans mm. if he's serious about you. Love it. Love it. The next tip or way to know that he's serious about you, in my opinion, is if he cares about you. Like, mm. duh, it's a no-brainer. If a guy is serious about you, he should care about you. Mm. And I think I remember one story pertaining to us. I don't know if you remember. So basically, even though you see I shine my teeth a lot, these teeth are not perfect. I helped her teeth ministry. Eh, eh. I <laughs> 
I helped the ministry oh, of the mercy. teeth. Okay, the ministry of the teeth. Okay. So See how they are white and shiny. Maybe. So I have a uh, well, I had a lot of teeth like problems at Issues. one particular <laughs> one particular occasion. My tooth was hurting, mm. but I don't like the dentist, so I was avoiding it as much as possible. And I remember I was at work, and I was like, I can't. I was I was in tears. I can't take this pain anymore. And so was this before we married or after? Before. Okay. I just before to make marriage. That clear. Yeah, because yeah. there's been many times. <laughs> <laughs> Before marriage, so I called Ayod, I was like, oh my god, I just wanted to rant to him and just wanted to cry mm. on the phone. Then he actually called me back and he's like, you know what, I've booked this appointment for you. It's an emergency dentist. When I say emergency dentist, first of all, I knew that that really touched me because I had a problem and he found a solution to it. Mm. So he booked an emergency dentist. Second of all, the reason I said hi is because I know that emergency dentist is not cheap. But my husband to be here sorted me out. Mm. And to top it all off, he actually stayed with me in that appointment. That appointment could have broken our relationship because you <laughs> actually, no, no, no. Because he actually saw my, they brought my tooth out. It was painful. It was painful. Like, it was, and I think that was my preparation yeah. for what labor was going to look like. <laughs> That was like pre labor. I'm serious. Baby tooth extraction and pre labor. It was you, you were you were in pain, bro. True, true. true. You obviously you were crying. You know what means to cry, baby. So true. yeah, I think that's a good point. Yeah. So yeah. I thought I was like, oh wow, this is apart from the fact that he saw my rotten tooth and he stayed with me. Um, it was just the fact that he actually went out of his way mm -hmm. to find that solution for mm -hmm. me, a solution that I would never have found mm -hmm. because I wasn't, I was, I didn't want to, I wanted to stay in that pain. Yeah. And then he actually, even the pain of it, like it was a big deal, but that wasn't it for me. It was the fact that I had a problem and you cared enough to sort it out. Yeah, that's it. Cared enough. So it was mm -hmm. not a case of Okay, have you have you sorted it out mm. now? Call oh, me. Okay, call me when you're done. Let me know when you're done. Mm. Oh, okay, I'll speak to you later. Yeah. When a guy is really serious about you, he is caring. He cares about your well-being, mm. about your health, mm. about how you are feeling. Mm. Okay, there's so many girls and so many yeah, so many girls sometimes that they will say, ah, this guy has not even called me to check up on me. Even when I said I was feeling sick, even when I said I was having a painful Take period. Take the hint. Take the hint. If that is the case, like I'm not talking about one, two three times if that is the case continuously mm -hmm. then he does not he's not serious he about does not you. care sometimes this guy is not serious but because the girl is the one pursuing and pushing him he now feels tied to her mm. and then he is now like okay this one is just plus one mm. i would just use this one and continue what i was doing mm -hmm. so that's why it is not good to encourage Okay, At all. someone who does not treat you At well, all. who is not caring At towards all. you because you're sending wrong signals and you're giving him ideas to continue. Yeah, you're giving him authority. So you should not be enabling that behavior. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so caring guy would leave what he's doing sometimes mm -hmm. to be with you. He's asking after you. Mm. He wants to know whether you are okay. Mm. So am I a caring guy? You are a caring guy. Definitely. Am I still a caring guy? Of course you are, baby. That's what I'm still with you. <laughs> Oh okay, so it's scary. When a guy is serious about you, he wants to show you off. He wants you to meet his family, mm. his friends, mm. his colleagues, mm -hmm. even his enemies. Because he wants to, I'm telling you, he wants to show his enemies that look, you thought I could not get someone. Mm -hmm. You thought I could not do it well. Mm -hmm. You thought I couldn't get a fine girl. Mm -hmm. So when a guy is serious about you, he shows you off. Mm -hmm. He calls his guy, ah, James, how far? <laughs> ah, you, I'm, you've not met my babe. Ah, come and meet my babe. Come and meet my babe. Baba Alpha. <laughs> ah, I'm going out somewhere. He's taking you along. Mm. He wants you to meet his friends. Mm. When he's not serious about you, he's hiding you. Mm. When he's not serious about you, he doesn't even want anyone in church See? to know that you guys are seeing each other. Man. He hides it from the pastor. Mm. He hides it from the remaining brothers and sisters in mm. church. He wants to keep it a secret. secret. Any man that wants to keep a relationship a secret is not a serious man. He's not. He, he, he he's has not no not interest in you. you. He just wants to use you, chop and clean mouth. He mm. wants to use and run away. So when he's serious about you, he's quick to introduce you. You go out together, he's like... Ah, let me, let me introduce you to my... And he introduces before you well. Before anybody asks. <laughs> then let me introduce you yes, to my babe. Yes, exactly. And he he's very intentional about that introduction. Mm -hmm. If he introduces you and he says, Oh, meet my friend. 
It's all over, Jackie. Just let, if he says you're his friend, that's it, you're his friend. Because friends. some guys do this. So they try to be diplomatic about it. They don't want to really say and make it clear that this is my girlfriend or this is my wife to be mm. here. So he says something like, ah, yeah, oh, sorry, forgive my manners. Um, Joanna, um, meet my friend. Mm. If he's calling you a friend, he has missed it. He's not he serious about it, you. Yeah. When he's serious about you, he says, meet my wife, mm -hmm. meet my babe, mm -hmm. meet my girlfriend, mm -hmm. meet my fiance. He's, he's very clear and intentional about the title that, he that he's introducing he you as. Please take note of, the, mm -hmm. of this. This is very important. And also, he also wants to meet your family. True. He also wants to meet your friends. True. Any man that has a problem with your friends any man that is trying to isolate you from your friends any man that is pushing your friends away from you is hmm. not serious about you Watch he wants it. to isolate you from your friends so he can deal with you mm. he has something bad to say about every friend because he does not have good intentions mm. for you or even every family member mm -hmm. you know? When, when, when he starts disrespecting family members. Exactly. Mm -mm. So he he's eager. So I was eager to meet your family, isn't it? Yeah. You, and you meet were. your friends. You were. Like, Where are your friends now? She was even now thinking, ah, you, you want to juice my friends. I said, no, but ah, let me meet your, <laughs> let me, meet let me know friend. the people I that you roll with. I want to know exactly. Because I, I wanted want to, to know, know more about yeah. her. You know, and it got to a time where I was even talking directly to one of her friends, you know, because mm. I was, you know, we were friends. Mm -hmm. And that is a serious guy. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. hope this is helping someone. I hope so too. Another way to know that a guy is serious about you is when he's trying to get to the inner you, mm. but not inside you. Hey! Now these wait, days... Wait, 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 we have to clap for that. I like, I just like the way you arranged it. He's trying to get to the inner you mm, and not inside, inside you. you. Okay, what do you mean? What do you mean by because that? Because these days the lines are blurred. Society mm. has told us too many wrong things. And you know, when we're discussing relationships, you know, Opie and I like to talk about godly relationships. Mm. Now, society tells you that he needs to sleep with you for him to know that you are serious or he is serious he needs to have a trial run he needs to do a tester mm. but no that's not what needs to be mm. when a guy really wants to know you mm -hmm. he doesn't want to know what's down there mm. he wants to know what's inside your Ooh, heart i love that like he wants to get to know you and Absolutely. getting to know you doesn't involve that level of intimacy mm. until marriage quite Absolutely. simply it's not too late it doesn't mean you're written off or anything like mm -hmm. that it just means that for the next relationship, you know that this is my boundary, this is my line. Yeah. You're either knowing me here mm -hmm. or forget it. You're not knowing me down there. And it's funny you mentioned about this boundary and this line. If he's constantly attempting to break your boundaries, mm -hmm. that is a red flag. Mm -hmm. If he does not respect your boundaries, mm -hmm. that is a red flag. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go back to the point about he's not trying to get inside you, he's mm -hmm. trying to get into the inner you okay now when a guy when the only time a guy calls you is to meet up there is an issue with that mm. when a guy is constantly trying to bring you to his house to lolox to lolox there is an issue with that sorry mm. do you know what lolox is <laughs> Lolox, even the word sounds could <laughs> sound pure. So he's always trying to, you know, touch. He's always mm. trying to lure you into bed. Mm. So when a guy is serious about you, now I'm I now there's temptation, you know, and this video is not about temptation. So there's times where there are temptations, mm -hmm. okay, and we understand okay, you're both fighting temptation, okay. However, when a guy is so quick, mm -hmm. very early on in the relationship trying to initiate mm -hmm. trying to get into your skirt trying to put you to bed trying to tell you ah we need to do this mm -hmm. if it's constantly telling you that for you to prove your love to me you need to sleep that, with me run away that line if you hear that line i'm saying it. if you love me you will mm -mm. run away i'm if telling you if you love me you will not thank you i love that if you love me you will not i'm telling you if he loves you and is serious about you, mm -hmm. he will respect, he will wait. If he is serious about you, he's winning your heart, mm. not your 
you understand? Mm. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, or mm. ladies, since we are addressing this video to the ladies, don't worry, gentlemen, we got you. Your turn is the coming. The next video, we're going to do something for mm. you. So, ladies, um, the last point we want to give, okay, there's so many, but we just have to narrow it down so that the video is not too long. The last point we want to give, which I believe is very important, mm. uh, or the most important, is there's some times where a guy is doing all the right things, right? Mm. He's saying the right things. He's acting mm. in the right way. Mm. He's doing the right things, mm. okay? But he's still a wolf mm. in sheep's clothing. Mm. Guys are dangerous. I'm saying it. Guys are dangerous. I've seen guys that will say, I love you so much. I love you. And they don't even mean it. They don't. I've seen guys that say anything just so that they can sleep with a girl and then move on to the next girl. It's like... That's why this point is very important. Mm. When he's serious about you, you will know it. Mm. So this is about intuition. Mm. Listen to me carefully. This is very important. Your intuition, most of the time, is right. And I like to say, because you call it intuition, mm. but I like to say the Holy Spirit. I was going to so, say that, so, yeah. So, so there is a level you get to, and this is why you need to have a good relationship with God. There is a level you get to in your walk with God mm. that the Holy Spirit will tell you things. Yeah. And you will feel it in your spirit that, no, this one mm. is a bad... Mm. You will mm. feel it. So he's doing everything right. So your head mm. is telling you, Ah, this guy is a correct guy, mm. but your spirit is telling you something else, and that is where you need to listen to what the mm. spirit is saying. That is where you need to listen yeah. to what the spirit is saying. Very important, and this for me oversees the rest of, yeah. of the points. I think we take for granted sometimes the power of the Holy Spirit, and we take for granted how God cares about every single aspect of our life. Mm. So sometimes when people message me and ask, "How do I know? How do I know?" I say pray talk to god about it mm. he cares about even these little things mm. now he's not he might not answer you in a big booming voice and say my daughter he might send someone to you mm. it might be so random mm -hmm. but in that randomness if you are in tune with the holy spirit you will understand that that randomness is not a coincidence mm. and that randomness is actually not random it's mm. god talking to you Absolutely. and i feel like this is very important because this can save a lot of people from oh wow he's this 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 that but mm. and you know sometimes in that but we push that but under because mm. because we see 10 good things and one bad thing we say ah that one bad thing doesn't matter but that one bad thing could be the destroyer of everything mm. ladies and gentlemen i think we're going to draw the curtains mm -hmm. here i hope you have been blessed okay yeah. if you have any questions pertaining to everything anything that we have said feel free to reach out to us and um, this is our email address right here ayokbe davis at gmail.com mm -hmm. okay so let us know if you have any questions if you're new to the channel now would be a good time to subscribe subscribe to our channel we only give positive vibes we only share well, good, good vibes, stuff yeah. you understand stuff that will bless you so subscribe to our channel let this channel bless you mm -hmm. um, you've not come here by coincidence mm -hmm. i believe god has led you here for a mm -hmm. purpose mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so subscribe to our channel like this video share with a loved one mm -hmm. share with your friends you can watch in groups after the covid 19 is over Gather together, watch I it. Okay party. I okay watch party. I'm telling you, <laughs> binge watch all our binge videos. Binge watch, like. Videos will bless you. Okay, mm -hmm. let us sing uh, our welcome song for, for our new, new subscribers. subscribers. We're glad you came. We welcome you. We hope you learn a thing or two. As you join us on this journey to marriage, faith, and life. We are glad you We're came. glad you came. We welcome you. We hope you learn a thing or two as you join us on this journey through marriage, faith, and life. Marriage, faith, and life, say. Marriage, faith, and life. Marriage, faith, and life, say. Marriage, faith, and life. Marriage, faith, and life, say. Marriage, faith, and life. You're welcome, guys. God bless you. Yep. We shall see you in, in the, the next video. video. Bye. Bye.